why should india try to be a superpower hmm there are many european countries that are wealthy and happy we are lacking in both and still we aspire to be a superpower what are the benefits of being one we see the us needs to intervene or invade other countries to project power and has to fight cold wars with russia and china isn't it better to just develop our economy and self defense see if you develop if a nation the size of india develops itself to its full potential develops its economy and self defense it automatically becomes a superpower right india has historically been the world's largest economy historically i think this is not something controversial at all it's something everyone accepts india has historically been the major economic power globally over a third of the entire world's gdp and if you have that sort of gdp your military is going to be proportionate to that so it's going to be a massive military that automatically makes you a superpower so the question that you're really asking is why why should india try to to reach its true potential should we not stay <laughs> below that that's what you're asking think about it clearly because india historically has been an economic etc superpower india had very high living standards that's what we know based on the population and the gdp you divide that you get per capita gdp and so on so why should india not reclaim its historical position why should india be content with mediocrity why okay you say that there are many european countries who are wealthy and happy you know ignorance is bliss ignorance is bliss you can be happy and reasonably wealthy but what's really happening in europe do you know what's happening in europe who is the major power in europe is it poland is it germany is it france is it the uk is it portugal is it spain yeah one major power is russia which is the other major power in europe the other major power in europe is none of these western european countries it is the united states since the second world war the united states has been the major continental power in western europe all of these other nations are in one way or other colonies of the united states either via nato or via the european union so uh, these countries countries like germany are under permanent us occupation since 1945 they don't have an independent foreign policy sure they are reasonably wealthy the people have reasonably good living standards but where is the self determination i spoke about the national interest yesterday one of the main components of the national interest is self determination and cultural integrity does western europe have self determination and cultural integrity it does not and therefore this uh, being wealthy and happy is essentially being blissfully ignorant it's like taking drugs and making yourself happy and trying to ignore the truth of what's happening to you right so i would say that india needs to be independent india needs to have its own independent foreign policy which we are demonstrating right now to a significant extent and india needs to rise to its true potential india needs to reclaim its rightful place on the global scene its historical place on the global scene so that's what we should aspire to do i don't see anything wrong with aspiring to be a superpower if you achieve if india achieves its uh, full potential economically it's going to be a superpower whether anyone likes it or not so that's what india needs to go for just forget about being a scary country or or a hegemonic country just attain your economic your full economic potential that will take care of everything so so yeah it is good it is better to develop our economy and self defense but that itself will make us a superpower